welcome back. Now let's talk about this data set here, this big table of stuff. Actually, I shouldn't call it a table. What it is officially right now is called a range of cells. Eventually we're going to see table means something really specific. In fact, in an earlier module, we saw that formatting something as a table could give me alternating bands of color and do some special filtering for me and handle some stuff that I used to have to do through freeze panes. But now we're going to eventually see some other uses for turning something into a table. But first we're going to talk about pivot table. So let's see what's going on in this worksheet. I'm going to use control and the down arrow key. And I discover that uh, this thing's got about 300 rows to it. And it's all about selling wine. And I'm going to use control and home to go back to the upper left hand corner. And you'll see that we have column headings up here. We have the state, the month, the type of wine. So the states look kind of funny because we're in Australia. Victoria, New South Wales, South Australia, those are the states here. We've got month and year. We've got the type of wine, red or white. We've got group of wine, which is Riesling and Merlot and Semillon, and I don't speak French, so I'm probably slaughtering those names right now. But we've got repeating data in lots of columns, and we've got numeric data, and those are the things that make it just right for a pivot table. Now I see the same sales rep showing up in here over and over again. We've got three sales by Roland Walquist up here. We've got some more of Roland's sales down here. We've got about 300 individual rows of sales data, making it pretty tough to see any trends. Who's the best-selling salesperson? What's our best-selling wine? Right now we can't tell any of that, but we've got lots and lots of raw data to analyze. And a pivot table turns out to be a great way to do this. So you may remember from an earlier discussion that if you were going to set up subtotals, you needed to sort first by the fields that we're going to use to subtotal. When you're creating a pivot table, you don't have to do all that stuff. Pivot tables are really easy to set up, and they're real easy to edit. So let's see how easy this could be. I'm going to click anywhere in this big range of cells here, and I'm going to go to the Insert tab. And over here at the left-hand side, I've got two things that seem kind of similar. One of them says Table, and the other one says Pivot Table. By the way, just as a side note, Insert Table is exactly the same as Home tab and Format as Table. Those are just two ways to do exactly the same job. We saw format as table earlier. We will see insert table in a few minutes. But first I would like to talk about insert pivot table. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go up here to the insert tab and click on pivot table. And it says, where's the data? But because I started with a cell inside this contiguous range of cells here, it figures out that the data is wherever I have blank rows and columns. So it's good to have another well-defined list from our discussion about that earlier in Module 3. So it's figured out where the data is. And it says, where do you want to put the pivot table? And it's suggesting putting it on a new worksheet, and I thoroughly recommend that. So I'm just going to choose OK. So you'll notice just to the left of my wine sales data here, I'm going to call this my data range. Just to the left of my data range, just, uh, that is just in front of it, it has inserted this new sheet with this area over here that I'm going to call the skeleton of my pivot table. And then this area over at the right hand side referred to as the quadrants. And at the top of the quadrants it has a list of the fields that came from my data set. So if I go back here to wine sales, the column headers, the sales rep, the state, the month, the type. Now I'm going to go to this newly inserted sheet. The sales rep, the state, the month, the type. So there's my field headers are all listed over here in the pivot table field list. And I'm eventually going to put them over here in the pivot table skeleton. 